Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. Uh, this is a collection video. Uh, you know, we own a shop in Matthews, North Carolina. And anytime we get a cool collection in that's something kind of special, I will try to highlight it in a video. So uh, this is a cool one. I've never gotten one quite like this one before. And um, when I started posting about it on Instagram, a bunch of people were like, make a video. So this is the video. Um, I'll do kind of a brief explanation. So this, these are all like 70s bootlegs. Um, long story of where they came from, but if you're not familiar with what a bootleg is, it is, um, material that the band never officially released, but some fans got together and put them out. So like this one, this is the first one on the stack. This is Jefferson Airplane. Um, this is, you know, on colored vinyl, a trademark of quality, you know, these are really cool collectible seventies bootlegs. There's a lot of bootlegs out there. Um, first I thought I'd give you just kind of a brief explanation of what a bootleg really is. Um, you know, like there's some modern ones like this wasn't in the collection. This, I just pulled these to show you guys. This is a, this is a modern bootleg. So this came out, I think last year, this is a Pink Floyd BBC session bootleg. Um, it's got crazy color vinyl, stuff like that. So I collect, um, bootlegs, you know, of some of my favorite artists like, you know, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, stuff like that. Um, this is a really cool Zeppelin one. It's kind of a modern uh, Storm in the Big Apple. Uh, this show wasn't previously available. This is September 19th, uh, 1970, which was a legendary show. But this is the afternoon show, not the evening show. So this particular one wasn't available. Uh, it's on like a turquoise vinyl. It's like a trifold. Really well done. Really cool. Um Mo this is a modern day bootleg but in the 70s is kind of when it came out and, and like people were bringing in like tape recorders to concerts to record live shows you had sound guys that were plugging into the um to the board to get those uh those uh, what like a soundboard you know quality bootlegs which is kind of what you want a lot of times so anyways um we've got some cool ones i, I picked out a handful to show you uh, just that were special and cool to me. Um, and then I, I'm doing a flip through of everything that's in here. But I got about 400 bootlegs. And they're all like old school 70s, 80s bootlegs. And so for me, like the modern ones are cool. Um, but the 70s bootlegs are, uh, they're kind of like artifacts. You know, they're they're rock and roll artifacts. They're very, very cool. Um, it's just a, most of them are kind of DIY. So fan made uh fan club type things you know what i mean so also inevitably i'm gonna have people ask aren't these illegal um and back then in the 70s it was illegal to make the bootlegs it's, i think it's illegal i'm sure it's illegal now um a lot of the modern bootlegs come from italy and they have some some weird copyright laws in italy i think i don't know but um, a lot of these were made in the U.S. back then in the 70s, and they were illegal to be recording these concerts and selling them and all that stuff. That was illegal back then. But now these are just used records. You know, they're artifacts of the times. You know, they're not, it's not like this huge enterprise. These are just used records now. So it's not the same thing. You know, the people that were getting pinned for bootlegs back then were the guys with the uh, recorders at the concerts and then the guys that had the um, there's probably some guys whose buddies worked at a pressing plant and let them in there after hours to print some bootlegs, stuff like that. Just some shady back alley deals. Those were the ones that would be in uh, doing some illegal shady stuff. But, you know, record stores just always tried to get some cool things in and some things you don't normally see. And that's where bootlegs come from. I don't think anybody's making a ton of money on bootlegs. And the reason that I bought these was at my shop, I try to have really cool things that you don't see everywhere. And um, somebody had these and they were trying to get rid of them. You can't sell them on Discogs. I I'm gonna have these in the shop. We're looking at March 30th. We're gonna have a huge sale at the shop. So um, if you're around, we got like, I bought this huge collection of 5,000 records and um, I've got, we're cleaning out the back room. We're doing spring cleaning, all this stuff. So we're going to have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollar bin records that you can dig through. Um, we're going to have a bunch of deals, stuff like that. But we're also going to be putting out a lot of really cool stuff. I'm going to try to put out a bunch of these that day. Not all of them. It won't be everything you're seeing here. Some of these I'm going to take some time with. I'm going to listen to. Some of them I'm going to keep. 
Some of them I'm going to put on whatnot. So March 30th is when, like, if you follow us on Instagram, we always do flip videos of everything that we're going to be putting out. So we'll do a flip video of the things that are going out in the shop. So for the whatnot, I'm going to put a bunch of stuff. It's probably going to be like almost all bootleg or promo or Japanese pressing. So it's going to be a big show of really cool stuff. That's going to be on March 26th. So I'll have a link to that show in the in the um, description of the video. But I do shows every week. I'll probably be doing a couple different shows that feature bootlegs because I have so many. And then like, you know, some other really cool stuff. So this Tuesday I'll have some, probably just a handful. And then but next Tuesday, the 26th, I'm probably going to put a ton out there. So make sure that you're following us on Whatnot. If you're not familiar with whatnot, there's also a link where I have a video explaining everything in the description of this video. So check that out. All right, here they are, some cool ones, and then I'll do the flip video. So this is one in particular that was super cool that I found, and I don't even know that this is a bootleg. So this is uh, addressed to Richard Delello, Delello, uh, Del Delello, I don't know. Uh, but the guy, um, I did some research on who that was, and this it was a guy that was like um kind of like a film producer or director or something like that and he was like friends with the beatles and stuff like that so these are kind of a fan club thing it came in an envelope like this you open it up and it was uh it's just called get back and so it came with a big poster um and it came with kind of a printout of what it is um but it's an exclusive uh, new album report, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, but it, 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 this is supposedly a fan club thing that was sent out to all of the uh, friends, family of the Beatles. So not can't find a whole lot of information on this. This is very cool. The labels are um, like this, you know. So some a, a couple things I saw online was just of this, the record itself, and that it was a bootleg. But there were some that a little bit of information that indicated that if they came with the envelope and all that stuff, it wasn't actually a bootleg. It was kind of a um, uh, promotional type thing. So I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna do some more research on it. But this is that was the coolest thing that I found in the collection, probably, uh, just because yeah. But there's a ton of. Beatles bootlegs in here. Um, I'll just show you some of the ones that popped out to me. So for bootlegs uh, in the 70s, quality is sometimes an issue, you know, stuff like that. But I collect a lot of the, these trademark quality bootlegs. They're really good quality. I love that stamp on the front. Um, I love it when they're on colored vinyl like this. And so a lot of these are really cool and they came with like a, some artwork as well, like a printout sheet. And so this is a Jefferson Airplane one. I didn't have this one, so this is one of my collection. Um, I try to. I want to collect all of the color vinyl, just one of each color vinyl trademark quality deals, just because uh, to me that is just cool, you know. Um, this is another one, Deep Purple, Purple for a Day. This one is on like a dark, I think it's like a dark blue. It might be black actually, I can't remember. But I cleaned it in our ultrasonic machine. Here's another one, purple for a day. It's the same exact um, bootleg, but this one is on like this really cool orange vinyl. So this one I'll be keeping. Uh, this is the artwork for it. Very, let me get it to where you can see it. Really, really cool. Um, and so even some of these that the recordings aren't great, they're just cool, you know? They're just um, legendary. This is Rolling Stones Burning at the Hollywood Palladium, 1972. It's got the it's got the stamp on it, but it's got the insert in the front there, but it's on orange vinyl. Didn't have that one yet, so that's very cool to find. This is the Beatles Get Back Sessions. Um, and this is on red vinyl. It's got the artwork with it. Very cool. This is the Beatles Hollywood Bowl, 1964. Um, let's see if this one has the one. Yeah. It's got uh, Paul McCartney there. Very cool. This one is really cool. So a lot of times you get that solid color. That's pretty normal. Uh, this is the Christmas collection. And look at the wax on this. 
so cool um these are kind of some of the special ones I, I went to the shop and clean in our ultrasonic machine but that is one of the cooler ones for sure um this is another one the christmas collection that's like a dark purple it's hard to tell um this is the beatles renaissance minstrels uh volume two like a maroon uh this is a really cool one this is uh honorable deep purple made for japan uh this one the sound quality is not great but um some ripping guitar solos you know classic deep purple stuff it's on this kind of red vinyl um this is this is just i pulled out some things that i've never seen before this is just the beatles live in japan which there's a bunch of different versions of this bootleg but look at the vinyl on this it's almost like a picture disc the outer rim is black and the rest of it is red very cool um just black sabbath there wasn't many black sabbath bootlegs that one's very cool uh let's see here this is cool so this is a different example of a bootleg okay this is more like a counterfeit. So in like Taiwan and Korea and stuff like that, they were making bootlegs uh, like this. This is the Rolling Stones Aftermath, which stuff like this is still pretty rare and collectible on orange vinyl. So the, a lot of these that you'll see, they'll, they'll have like um, logos and stuff that look like that on them. You see these labels, is not like a normal label to see. But you find them like this, and these were, um, not always, but a lot of times these came into America from um, the soldiers in Vietnam. They would have, uh, like when they were stationed in Vietnam and they would be wanting to get records, the records that they were able to buy locally there were all made in Taiwan, Korea, stuff like that. And they're considered bootlegs, but that they had their own printing presses and things. And, and they made these like really shoddy, um, like the covers are like that, they're like pieces of paper. Uh, really shoddy versions of the American albums, but that's all they could get. So then when they would bring their records that they bought back home, you'd have like, I've, I've seen so many different ones of these. I've, I have Zeppelin ones, Stones ones, Beatles, um, you name it. Any any album you could imagine, I have even some cyclones that are that way. But they all come from, you know, that area and they're all like questionable in authenticity but they're cool to collect it's just you know record collectors are are crazy people that um that they don't uh you know they don't have limits anything that looks cool they go for um this is another a, a couple which i've never seen these before but this is uh outsider bird records this is uh the rolling stones la uh 69 November 8th, the second show. This is limited edition to 170 numbered copies. This is number 16. Um, it is super cool. It comes with a seven inch, it's on blue vinyl, and then the discs also on that same blue vinyl. Uh, that's really cool. And then the same label, uh, limited to 200 copies. This is number 75, same blue la vinyl. Just kind of cool. Another Beatles one. This one is the same as before the Hollywood Bowl, 1964, but it's still sealed. And see, the thing is, is if it's on color vinyl, uh, it it's worth more. If it's on black vinyl, it's still cool. Should I open it right now on live television? I'm going to because I need to know. Uh, I feel like it will be worth... I'm, it's worth the risk. Do it with my fingernail. It's worth the risk. If it's on some crazy color vinyl, it would be worth more than it being sealed. My luck is it's going to be on black vinyl, but you never know. Oh, dang it. It's on black vinyl. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's on. Yeah, it's black. It almost looks green, though. Maybe that's just my brain. All right, well, I'll clean it up and it'll be good for somebody. I did open a sealed trademark of quality. Um, I always open them, though, because, you know, you got to you gotta know what you're getting. But very cool. Beatles. I um, was hoping for it to be on color vinyl, but this is a cool Motley Crue one that I've never seen before. Clear vinyl. Um, this is a Rush one. Nassau Coliseum. Very cool. 
This is uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Blizzard of Oz. Um, 2LP with Randy Rhodes. Very cool. Um, this is a, just a cool Van Halen one. Thought I'd pull out and show you. I um, don't know what that is. I got pulled some out that I need to do some research on. But this one's cool. It, this one was in Japan, I guess. Uh, the Beatles live in Europe and US TV casts. Um, this is some fan art, you know. Um, this is a, like a, one that's just cool. This is a Kiss Fried Alive. And you guys know I'm not notoriously a Kiss fan, but look at the colored vinyl on that. It's beautiful. Very, very cool. Um, and then this is uh, Jackson Brown. It's called X-Rated. And it look, look, look at this. Crazy. Um, and then this is this is kind of the last one I'll, I'll do a, a showing of. This is uh, the 1975 World Tour. I've had this bootleg dozens of times, but I don't have one right now. And this one's very cool. I like that red and, and uh, yellow cover so i'll be keeping that in my personal collection but anyways that's some of the cool ones that i pulled out i'm gonna do a flip video so you can see um kind of what else is in here all right so i'm sitting here with all the boxes um and i'm gonna start with this is zeppelin this is the beatles um there's some miscellaneous stuff there's like a bunch of rolling stones deep purple queen here anyways i'll start with uh my favorite, obviously, Led Zeppelin. Uh, lots of very cool stuff in here. Most of these I do have for my own personal collection, but these badge holders ones are killer. Going to California, classic Zeppelin boot. Uh, in the evening, this is one. I'm probably gonna keep this copy because I don't currently have one. I've had them over the years, but there's like four copies of that in here. Uh, a couple more badge holders. Live in Japan, it's Osaka, killer show. Stairway to Heaven, Nebworth. This one's amazing. How many more times? Great one. Another Osaka. This one's a BBC. Fair marker quality. This one's a Blueberry Hill. It's got some cool artwork, some Zoso artwork on it. Uh, this is like a Russian boot. Uh, another Blueberry Hill with some cool custom artwork on it. Uh, another Nebworth. Uh, this is like an interview. BBC. Very cool. The Japanese handwritten OB. All right, so these are the Beatles. Um, I have so many Beatles, I don't even know what to do with them all. I guess we'll sell them. We'll see. But even like multiple copies of each one. Um, some of these I've had before. Some of them, I don't even know what that is. For some of you have ever seen that. Uh, so, yeah. It's a black album. The Ed Sullivan Show. Washington, D.C. Never seen that one before. So, these are all... This whole box is either Rolling Stones or Queen. Lots of stone stuff. That rubber Dubber label. Never seen this one before. These are all on like these crazy splatter vinyl. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. All four of those are on that same color. This is 
like a silk screen cover. There's another deep purple. I got a bunch of deep purple put in this stack over here, but a lot of queen. I've found a couple queen bootlegs here and there, but never this many, obviously, in one place. the deep purples um there's a ton of deep purple stuff and the same with deep purple i've found over the years a few here and there not many um and this is just in a crazy amount if you like jpt scare band that's the cover to one of their albums This one's cool, like it's got um, this random picture enclosed in the back. It's just like a photograph somebody took of their girlfriend or something. Uh, this is some like pretty random ones, miscellaneous. Alive. Some of these are colored vinyl trimmer plugs. Look at that. The labels on that are sick. That color is amazing. This is still sealed. Oh, that's like a brown color. Some Genesis ones here. Fleetwood Mac, this is Peter Green era. Fleetwood Mac. Sonic Youth. So this is Emerson, Lake of Palmer, King Crimson, and a bunch of other random ones. But a bunch of Emerson, Lake of Palmer as well. King Crimson, King Crimson. Count how many of this one I have. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, six of those. Neil Young, James Taylor, another Neil Young, Johnny Mitchell and James Taylor. This is the jam. This is a volume one and two. Uh, Quiet Riot. It's cool. I don't think I've ever had a heart bootleg. This is Yardbirds. Gigi Allen, what? Bunch of like Jeff Beck stuff. This is like all uh, rainbow and kiss. A lot of rainbow in here. It's just kind of random because I've never seen rainbow bootlegs before. Um, and there just happened to be like a bunch in here. The CCR. Uh, there's two of these John Lennons and they're both on this yellow wax. Very cool. A lot of really cool Bob Dylan. Um, some of these are colored vinyl tray marker qualities, like this one. It's like a blue. Um, this VD Waltz. Very cool. Bob Dylan of the band. Linda Ron 
wants that. One of these is like a crazy color. This one right here. Look at this. Janice Joplin. Janice Joplin. The who? There's some like jazz bootlegs. Sean Coltrane. Miles Davis. Roxy Music. PBS. This is a Prince. Black album. Leon Russell, take that. 